Diane from Allied. Here today we're talking about the thyroid. We're talking about the endocrine system in which the thyroid gland located in your neck is part of that. Hypothyroidism is very common, especially in the elderly. And as a CMA, you're going to encounter it and you're going to give medications for this. So let's talk about it a little bit. Hypo and hyperthyroidism, okay? Hypothyroid is you're not, there's not enough. You don't have enough of that thyroid hormone. So what do you do? You would replace and supplement it. Now, the med you're going to need to know for your exam is levothyroxine or Synthroid. Okay, it's oral and they take a tablet. And that would be to treat hypothyroidism. Not enough. The thyroid gland is not producing enough of the thyroid hormone. Therefore, again, you'd need to replace or supplement that. And the drug you need to know, levothyroxine or Synthroid. Hyperthyroidism. This may happen as well. This is when the thyroid gland is making too much of that thyroid hormone. So what do you do? Well, especially if you're older at all, no real drug to treat. So what do you do? Well, there are some things that you can do. One of them is a radiation treatment or have it removed surgically. If you've ever seen someone and it looks like they have like a little smiley, little smile right there, that may be a sign that perhaps they've had that removed, part of that thyroid gland removed because hyperthyroidism can be very dangerous. Here are some signs and symptoms. Signs and symptoms. Hypothyroidism, your, your signs and symptoms are going to be cold. Have you ever been in a nursing home and you walk in the room, you're sweating, it's 90 degrees in Gladys's room, and she's got a sweater on and she asks you for a blanket? Edema under the eyes. They have, now as we get older, we all get these bags, but they have like an edema, like a water pocket underneath, here under your eyes. Another thing is they're tired with a capital T, tired. Another is weight gain. Okay, these are signs and symptoms of hypo, low thyroid hormone. Now, hyperthyroidism, some of the signs that you might see, some of the symptoms are going to be they're hot. They have bulging eyes. The eye actually looks like it's coming forward, the actual eyeball. They're shaky and they have weight loss. Now, be careful. It also can look, unfortunately, like perhaps they're on a methamphetamine or something. Um, you don't want to judge someone for something that they're, they're certainly not guilty of. So be careful of that. But one of, some of the signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism would be they're hot, uncomfortable, it may not be that hot out, but they are hot. Bulgy nice, they're kind of jittery or shaky, and they have weight loss. They can also be tired because this will wear you out. But keep these straight, know the drugs to treat. So if there's a question on the test and it says levothyroxine is used to treat, and there's, let's say, three options for you to answer. One of them is hypothyroidism, one is hyperthyroidism, and the other is some other disease. You know it's going to be hypo, remember? Because there's not really a drug available, especially for the elderly, in treating hyper. Also, remember in every test, there are um, clues. There's clues like, like, like little dirty socks laying around. Pick up your dirty laundry, don't leave it laying around. There's always clues. And this one, look, Synthroid, Levothyroxine, thyroid. So you know it would be to treat hypothyroidism. Don't freak out, always read the questions and look for the, uh, look for the clues and you'll be okay. We'll do all right, you got this.